Hello, it's Ricardo and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. For those of you who have been doing the Commander copy from console to PC, you would have seen this screen. This is the screen that tells you that your copy is currently in progress. For some people who jumped right in and started the copy progress, that might have seemed a little bit disconcerting. But I'm here to tell you, it took no longer than two hours for me. Even though Frontier did give us a little bit of a fright of saying that some queues would take about five hours. Anyway, I thought we'd have a look at the process once this is completed. Welcome back, Commanders. Console Commanders now embarking on your PC journey. So we all would have seen this email sent out to everybody when the transfer had been started. You are in the queue. Don't worry about it. It's happening. Then... All of a sudden, you get this one. Your account transfer has been completed. Okay, the language here is a little bit off, but don't worry about that. Please do not reply to this email address. It's not monitored. You think, great, fantastic. What am I going to do now? Where's my copy of Elite? How do I log on to my commander? But don't worry, I got you back. As I mentioned, Frontier came on the social media yesterday and kind of worried the people a little bit or giving them some good information just to say that, hey, console copies could take up to five hours. But fortunately for me, it took about two hours, 10 minutes. So that wasn't so bad. Clicking on the original email that said that your commander was in the queue, you can see you've got a copy complete status. Okay. And then it says, download the Elite Launcher. Well, you guessed it, folks. That's what you do. You click on this link from the original email that you got to download the Elite Dangerous Launcher. When you've done that, there's a little bit of messing about to do. Now, if you're a commander who is getting a second commander on their PC, you'll have to log out and then log back in as the console commander email address and password that you gave Frontier when you started this process. You'll also be prompted for a verification code. This verification code is emailed to you. Here's an example of when that was sent to me. Pop that into that box and you'll verify yourself with Frontier. No problem. Once that is done, it's a simple case. Logging in, click. It comes up with your commander and the commander name. And then you may well have to Upgrade Elite Dangerous Horizons. Don't actually bother with Elite Dangerous. Go on to Elite Dangerous Horizons, click on Upgrade, and be prepared to wait. Now, this will take some time. So if you're planning on playing in the next 10 to 15 minutes and you haven't been upgrading Elite Dangerous and you're one of the commanders who are completely new to PC, well, you're into about a 45-minute wait for all that to download from Frontier. It will. It'll look like it's not working for a time being. You think, oh, what have I done? You keep clicking that mouse button. Click, 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 click. But don't worry, it is happening. Um, it just takes a little bit while to sort of like initiate your session with Frontier servers. So with that done, then it's just a case of pressing play and you're away. You've got your commander name that you chose in the console um, transfer process at the top, knowing that you're on the right commander. Click on play and then away you go. Now there'll be a little delay as well where it sets up graphics cards and all the rest of it, but all this is perfectly normal. And then you are free commanders to go and blaze your own path on PC. Now, this is only about Horizons. You'll have to go out and buy a copy of Odyssey, I'm afraid, if you want to get in on all of that and have a good look at the Odyssey statistics to see if your, your rig that you're using, take it out. Hope this video has been useful. I've been Ricardo. Thanks very much.